I don't think there's any point battling you, to be honest. Wait, is there two bases? Let me guess, Clive's here. Yeah, of course, Clive's here. Clivington. Hey, Director, <laughs> every time he's like, Hey, as I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. So a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. And just like Cleopatra, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success at opening up a dialogue with Team Star, and I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with the students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for back. Dude, you haven't done anything to help yet. You literally just kind of hang out, and once all the work is done, you show up. Wait, so there's that over there. I thought I saw something down here. Anyway, whatever. You know what? We'll do this. I thought I saw... Donkey? I thought I saw the, uh, another set of gates over that other direction, but probably not. Whoa, 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 hold it. The Dark Squad. The, 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 the Dark Legion. The Legion of Darkness. Legion of Darkness. Star Wars. Hey, maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. You're not getting through. Buzz off. We'll get thrashed by me in battle. We'll be, um, you can thrash me in battle. That's what it is. Sassy kids like you are the one. Are you the same girl from the very beginning? Murkrow. I actually like Murkrow a lot. Level 19? What is the level scaling of this game? Oh, there's not level like, What are like. Why would this place be level 19 and the gym be level 30? I don't know, man. I'm doing this in a weird order, apparently. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? I feel like that's what you said the first time we battled, too. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. You said that twice? She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. Why is this guy so, like... Either way, best of luck. Amiga? Why is this guy so nice? Who is this guy? He's just here. He just he just needed, like, an extra... He just needed a, an extra curricular to put on his uh, college resume. So we decided to become part of Team Star. <laughs> now, hold up in that base is the Team Star's dark crew, the S S Segan Squad. Their boss, uh, 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 Guacamole, pretty much runs the whole, whole of Team Star and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. Ring the bell on the gates once you kick off this phase of operation. I guess. Wait, what is this? Is that a fuddle or? In a rock rough. Okay, his shiny is blue. I don't know why I was looking at him so intently. I really hope I haven't missed a shiny yet. Probably have. Little intruder, just so you know, you've got the skills. If you've got the skills to be 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy. 
That's such a weird thing to say. Like, yeah, forward focuses or something, I don't know. No, it's more like a uh, modified fire truck or something. The Ghostbusters car. Do you? The Claremont team stars are real bad. You're level 21. Well, that was easy. Dude, you can one shot this trap when it comes out. Oh wait. Wait, first off, you get intimidated, you're actually gonna move. Second off, you're faster than me, you're only level 20. I <laughs> mean we did one shot it. Well, 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 how the I would say mighty have fallen, but I don't think you were ever mighty. Guess that's that. About a half a year ago. Guess that's that. What's up, guacamole? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me to take my... Wanted my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know, how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. <clears throat> nice. You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, guacamole? No thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of... Stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape. What's a nape? Your rules were vexation made it manifest. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. trainer chops at the academy like what moves you should use and stuff I mean I spent half a day there but not really okay you like it at the academy having fun no kidding sorry to interrupt but are you guacamole whoa who whoa ho wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today you get a quacks quacks well to style that up for you I'm just a quick, I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell that's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you wanna know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal though. We don't know if they'll be coming back. They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. The big boss. Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, 
It must be a year and a half now. Then they'd be back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us. They call it quits, and then we get a party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. And all. So team star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you. Heh. <laughs> Is the sky blue? Uh. Let me put in words, you eggheads. That the academics might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Cleopatra's gonna call again? Yeah, there it is. This guy's kind of annoying. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. You've seen it all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. The only one, the one they call Big Boss. Who is this big boss? I feel like it's the person who's calling us right now. Who knows? They control the Faf Squad bosses from the shadows. That's all. Dude, it's definitely you. <laughs> You've been calling us from the shadows. You, that's definitely a fake name, so. And keeps their identity hidden. I take it they're not one for the spotlight. Exactly. Exactly like you. 7,000? And then look who it is. It's definitely her. It's definitely her. Every time, after the phone ends, every single time she just happens to show up. Aegis. Uh, I wasn't taught. Why does this thing always pop out of the Pokemon when she's around? Ah! So that mastermind, and then she always questions, like, who's this mastermind? Ah, I wonder who. It's definitely not you, right? If we don't take them down, I'll lose what treasure I most in the world. You'll lose your treasure? I like how they always give you, like, two options, and half the time, they're the exact same thing, just slightly worded differently. is next whoa oh look at that palmy has a uh knackly helmet or something who is this bird here or whatever I somehow ran into it great I think I'm somehow going backwards now what is that thing over there though Wait, I can see where we took our first gym challenge, actually. Somewhere we did a full lap around the entire map. And there's Mechazoa or whatever it's called.
No, don't even. Oh, you're so annoying, dude. I can't even glide you. Oh, now we can. What is this thing, though? What are those dogs? Dash hounds or whatever. Can I climb up here? I don't see why not. What is this? Oh, it's the Pokemon. Thing. Okay. Well, look at that. We're at the Pokemon League. We don't even have any badges and we're on the building. Literally on the roof of the Pokemon League. Oh, give me Google. Where? I see you back there. So, can I go down? Can I challenge him yet? I'm assuming this is where you do battle with them, right? I mean, this is the champion area. Howdy. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Yes. From Narnia Academy? Wait, really? You're messing with me, right? I only have seven badges. So with seven badges, you're allowed to go on the roof. Oh, look who it is. Thank you very much for your time today. Please, do have a seat. Okay. Um, is there only one chair? Why is there a repeat ball on the floor? Why are there just random Pokeballs and stuff everywhere? Uh, which seat can I have? I don't want that seat. Wait, am I stuck in here now? What are you doing? Please don't. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'll take a seat. Irika will be your interviewer. Now, let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. How many badges do you have? Oh, I see. You have seven badges. As you may be disqualified immediately, depending on your answers. Let's begin. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. What type was the very first Pokemon you chose? Should I lie? Next, please tell me why you want to become a champion. Uh, I don't know, man. Why are you asking me all these hard questions? Now, please tell me, is there anything that's very popular at your school? The treasure hunt, I guess? I don't know, I've only been there for like one class. Next is the final question for me. You might feel differently if you gather all eight gym badges. Wait, what? Why was this so weird? Why couldn't they just say, no, you don't have eight badges, go away? Did they really just do all that to troll me? So back in my day, they would just literally wouldn't even let you in. I wonder if it's possible. Where does that gimme ghoul at? I wonder if it's possible that if you give like a very specific set of answers, it'll be battle without having. I see him there, okay. Without having all eight gym badges. So I came all this way for nothing. How strong are you?
Oh man, he's a people guy? This is like a perfect camera to my guy. Fifty-six. I did not sign up for this. I should have said, oh, my alligator when I think about it, but he's gonna use the dark. Weird. That did a lot of damage. He somehow did more damage to me using a neutral attack than I did using a super effective attack. Granted, it is a crooked aisle, so that makes sense. Okay. Oh, okay, fine, I'll send in my own alligator kind of thing, reptile. And I'll blast you back into. I was gonna say back to the past, but. I mean, I guess he's a prehistoric creature, right? He's an alligator. Crocodile, actually, but there's a mouse behind you. It's cool in the back. Who learns knockoff? I wonder if the Pokemon League has items on their dudes. They might. Run, Zor! That's uncalled for. That was just both of my stabs. Yes, just keep flinching. Oh, and there goes your sandstorm. Just keep flinching, dude. Just keep flinching. Does Bronzor have good special attack? Like, he's more of a defensive mod, right? Do you think he'll kill with that future site? Rain damage? What are you doing? You're just using all the weather, apparently. Oh, please don't lower my special defense. Yeah, okay, now we're dead to future site. Great. To be fair, we were probably dead without that, so I guess it didn't matter. I mean, we're a little under-leveled here, but I think Chomper can take him. Well, from this range, I mean, anyone can take him. That mouse in the background could probably take him. On pass, who gets that? Ledge. I have not seen that yet. But I do know that that is a ghost type, right? Ghost fire or something? Dude, he looks sick. Can I zoom in on him? He does look really cool, actually. Oh man, he's gonna sweep me. He's actually gonna sweep me with like Mega Man Sword version. Bitter Blade. Oh, come on, man. All the damage I did to you is for nothing. sweeps us right here. Oh, well, he blew it. I imagine if he would have hit us, he had a chance. 
but I imagine it's a problem for you, so... Oh! Maybe he knows what he's doing. I think I'm in trouble here. Wow, we actually lived that. I don't know what someone's saying. What's a special attack or what? But... He'll evolve, right? 55. Just like Tyranitar, just like Dragonite, just like everybody. Icicle Crash. Ice Fang 65. This is 85. Yes, please. Okay, he's gonna evolve. He is evolving. Perfect. What? Street Shark is evolving. I really like what he looks like right now. I hope it's just a bigger version of that. Uh <laughs> I mean he's Godzilla. I don't I I don't want to say I hate it, but I don't like it. First off, I feel like the back is just like there's nothing going on. The only thing he has is that one fin. The rest of him looks like Play-Doh. And then from the front, or from the side, he looks kinda skinny. Like how is he supposed to support that big fin like he's tiny the front looks all right i guess his face is kind of off but yeah he's definitely not the strongest design glaive rush what is that 120 base power physical oh the user throws his entire body into a reckless charge attacks Cannot miss and will wait. Attacks from opposing Pokemon during the next turn. Cannot miss and inflict double damage. Okay, so this is a really strong attack. But it has a huge drawback. Apparently, if they survive it, their next turn they do double damage to you. Is this be overkill? I want to test him out. Should we try the new Glaive Rush? See what happens. That <laughs> so he literally does a front flip. Or he does half a front flip. Plants on his head. Does a head handstand. And then charges his enemy while he's on his head. That's actually kind of a funny animation. Uh, Mankey's Primates. 